People claim if you come to this lake late at night, you will see her floating above the lake. Some people say that she will run up to you and ask you if you've seen her baby. This story has been told over a hundred years in this park. In the Victorian era, there was a young woman who was boating on the lake with her baby. The baby unfortunately fell in. She went after and both of them drowned. Since then, there's been this legend that if you go to Stowe Lake at night, she will either arise from the water in a ghostly form dressed all in white, or she will pass you along the banks of Stowe Lake and ask you if you've seen her baby. If there's a woman of Stowe Lake that's with us, can you flash once to let us know you're here? Or twice if you don't want to speak to us? If you're jogging in this park alone and you see this woman of Stowe Lake, if you're brave enough, try to communicate with it. The most famous ghost story of Golden Gate Park is the Lady in White at Stowe Lake. There was an article published on January 6, 1908 in the San Francisco Chronicle that talks about two couples riding in this park and they were pulled over by a horse-mounted police officer and they had claimed to have seen this woman of Stow Lake. She's always described the same way, in a long white dress with long fair hair and glowing. The story varies a little bit, but the most common telling is that in Victorian times, there was a beautiful young mother and her child in a pram. She came to the edge of Stow Lake. She became distracted and her pram rolled away and into the water. She looked everywhere for it. She ran around to bystanders uh, asking if they had seen her baby. She was panicked and she eventually threw herself into the waters of Stowe Lake and disappeared underneath, never to be seen again. If you come here at night and start yelling to her that you have her baby, she'll ask you, do you have my baby? And there's no right way to answer her because if you say yes, um, she will curse you or kill you. And if you say no, she'll do the same because you've tricked her. Is there a woman of Stowe Lake that wants to say something to us? Please come over to this device and let us know you're with us. Said video. I use this to disprove ghosts more than I do to prove ghosts because when you have high EMF fields around you, it makes you uh, feel paranoid. The hair on the back of your neck stands up, okay? So you can go in there and prove that there's high EMF fields doing this to somebody, not the paranormal. Can you let us know you're with us? Can you tell us how you died? It makes me wonder if this is just a residual haunting and not an intelligent haunting. One of the misconceptions about ghosts is most people think that they're the spirits of the dead, that they're roaming the earth, but you'll find that most ghosts are really something that we call a residual haunting. I believe that this woman of Stowe Lake could be just some memory that is replaying itself over and over again, that has somehow been imprinted in the atmosphere. A lot of ghost stories are here in nature. It can get so quiet and so dark that any sound or anything strange you see, your imagination can run away with you. I don't believe in ghosts, but am I going to come here at night and loudly say that I don't believe in ghosts? Also, no.